Amazon revealed its latest Echo product this week, and it has a new face. <laughs> On Tuesday, the e-commerce giant unveiled a voice control device called the Echo Show. It's their first smart speaker device with a built-in touchscreen, but reaction from the tech world is mixed today following the announcement. CNET senior editor Jeff Bacalar is here to explain how it all works. All right, so people are familiar with Echo. What's of the difference course. between Echo and Echo Show? Not a lot. Uh -huh. It's the screen. That's basically the <laughs> only big difference is this is the first Echo Alexa personal assistant that has a screen. And with that screen, you can now do video conferencing with anyone who has an Alexa app or an Echo, Echo Dot, or any of their line of products. Okay. Um, I actually think this is kind of cool, and I wonder, Jeff, if it's a first step into, remember like a couple of years ago, smart TVs came out, now you don't Definitely. need to necessarily buy a Roku or an Amazon um, television, you can just get it on your television. Wouldn't it be cool if there was a TV that you could engage with like Alexa, like the Echo, is that, or is that, are there already televisions that do that? There, so that you could be like, hey, roll Blade Runner. Yeah, I mean, there, there are TVs that can do that. What's weird is like, all of these products start out as something and then kind of evolve into something else. And mm -hmm. I think that's what's happening, uh, what's happening with the Echo look. I think this is the first step towards maybe another kind of TV, all in one screen kind of thing. Yeah. But for now, it's sort of, this glorified video conferencing voice assistant thing. So you can't even run a movie that you may own on Amazon Prime Video. You can't run that on the screen. I think they're going to open up that kind of stuff. I know you can do YouTube. You might be able to do that. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure about yeah. the entire set of features. Kind of cool. But you would imagine like the, the sort of convergence of all of that media and all of the Amazon ecosystem is going to be accessible from that screen. Right. So every time there's a new product like this, though, that adds sort of another window into your home, now right. it's a visual window as <laughs> yeah. opposed to just audio. You just don't want to that. Well, people start to wonder, right, yeah. you know, can somebody turn it on when right. I'm running from the bathroom because I forgot a towel, or are, are there concerns about privacy? <laughs> what that is, those are the, the things that I think about. Don't, don't forget a towel perhaps if the Echo bit, Show is that's, a, that's actually a good one. There's other things that people do in their rooms at night that you don't, wouldn't want broadcast of course. in the world. I'm pretty sure I don't want any cameras in my room, regardless, right? But the people must be bringing this up. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I think anytime you bring a camera into your home, you are... I don't want to say at risk, but it's sure it's not out of the realm of possibility. Yeah. I think um, you know there's obviously security provisions that Amazon's aware of. I don't think it's something everyone should be freaking out about just yet. Yeah. Uh, but yes, the, you know they they just debuted something called the Echo Look, which is this sort of you know fashion advice camera yes. thing that <laughs> will obviously be looking at you because that's the entire point of the product. Right. The Echo Show can do all that as well. So yes, privacy is a concern, but um, I think it's not something to get completely uh, neurotic about yeah. just yet. So you and the team at CNET reported on the CEO of another startup uh, who claims that Amazon copied their yeah. design, their well, nucleus they, Yeah, they did. They did. Did they? So they, they did, did they but like, buy his but that's, startup? But how, that's mean, how, how it you, works. Yeah. Okay, tell us how it works. Yeah. Because I, as well, I understand, he got a major cash infusion from yeah, Amazon. Yeah, Amazon is a big investor. Right. So I mean, you know, did, Copy byte per byte, code code per code, you know, that's left out in the ether and we can sort of analyze that till forever. Right. I think what a lot of, what, what that story specifically does is open up this sort of can of worms about companies that maybe do get a little bit of funding from Amazon who might be a little hesitant to maybe work with them because they see what has happened to a company like Nucleus. Um, you know, it's just sort of part of the, you know, rules of engagement, I guess, right. when you when you partner up with Amazon. This is a possibility. But what's going to break out of the story is, you know, Nucleus is now saying, hey, look what happened to us. Are there any other tech giants that maybe want to form some sort of team uh, and, and, and kind of take, uh, you know, notice of what Amazon does maybe uh, to other companies? that have startup devices and be able to better weather the storm when this potentially happens again. This is a dirty little secret with Amazon in a I, way that we you know you're... the legality of it all I'm not completely fluent with right. but you know this is not something new in the world of technology. Uh, you know look at like Instagram versus Snapchat. I mean those guys just steal from each other all day long. So <laughs> this is sort of the, the rules of engagement in the world of in tech. Silicon and, Valley. Right. Uh, so last question are you uh, John McGlinchey our senior producer in the control room he says he's getting one are you getting an Echo Show? I think I might. I don't have <gasps> 
And he, <laughs> After we just went through that whole thing, you know, just did a video, uh, video conference thing. Yeah, but, now you're like, I'm getting it. <laughs> well, I don't have any of them. I've okay. never had one. Right. This is all very new and exciting for right. me. So I think this might be my first foray into Alexa. We'll see. I, I, I still think Google Home, I've heard Google Home from people who have it, is able to understand you a lot better. Uh, so, you know, maybe I'll, I'll see which one Man. is right for me. Right. The camera thing does freak me out a little yeah. bit, but hey. <laughs> just leave it in the kitchen. But you're, but you're fine with that. But, but hey, hey, just put some tape over there right. when you're not using it. That's <laughs> right, all. Right, right. like hang a little curtain on it. Yeah. <laughs> you should have made a little tiny curtain. A little, little tiny curtain you could slide in. There you go. You heard it here. <laughs> right, right. Like a little shower curtain. That's right. Oh, that'd be so cute. Get a little cute. patent on that. Hell yeah. Uh, Jeff Bacalar, thank you very much. <laughs> of course. <laughs>